Trap, the latest in a long line of M. Night Shyamalan suspense thrillers. And to be honest, Jambo, my response to the film was similar to the response you'd expect from a door handle that had just been shown the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> As you know, we usually try and come up with a change to each film that we review to either improve it or create a what-if scenario. But I'm not going to try and change anything about Trap because how could you? How can you change that which you don't comprehend? <laughs> Instead, I want someone to help me understand this film, Jambo. Help me decipher the code that was Trap because maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's my problem. Maybe it really was just that dumb, but maybe it wasn't. For this section, we're just going to go through every issue of the plot. We've got the same bloody wife. <laughs> You've done the same thing. Almost. We're pretty it's much at the exact same point. Well, that's fine because I've got 25 points. Oh, so no. I'm pretty confident that <laughs> oh, no. it will take us a while anyway. All right. Well, you've got you've got 10 minutes. We'll see what's left we'll after. We'll see, see what happens after. Let's I think just... this will take longer than 10. So if it ends up overrunning, <laughs> there you go. So... <laughs> How does that sound, Jambo? I'm excited, mate. All right, here we go. So, overarching plan yes. for the FBI, stop and search all 3,000 men mm -hmm. in the arena. Without a warrant. How do you think they would have... Well, everybody would just say no comment, right? How possibly could they have, to the level needed to identify this person, successfully interviewed... Yeah. Every single person. What was the plan there? No, they didn't have one. They they had eight descriptions of the of the person's appearance, which were we were very very nicely spaced across very everybody, across every <laughs> ethnicity in the world, <laughs> every age group, every gender. <laughs> no, well, it, that that was no, no, it was a man. They, then the plot would they, get ridiculous. They needed to, they needed to round it down to three thousand. <laughs> Yeah, so they did. They didn't have one. I guess. I guess they had the wrist thing. That was they something. Had the wrist that they, thing, so, but only if it was a white male. So the so the one of the character descriptions was that they had a tattoo of a small animal on the inside of their wrist, which, to be fair, probably quite an uncommon tattoo for mm. a middle aged man to have. Yeah, but that was one of about eight descriptions, and it felt a lot like M Night just kind of went like. Oh, let's put this uh -oh. in. <laughs> I will say this. This was higher up on the list for me. This is I've, I've not ordered this list. Okay. But generally, it's kind of sequentially things that we had an issue with. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. and Rachel walked back from this film and we're going, um, and what about that thing? Yeah, 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 what yeah. about that? This is that how I pictured sense? today's episode going. So this one was a big issue for me. Like, how did they expect to adequately interrogate, quote unquote, 3,000 different people. I mean, what they were doing was just cherry-picking people. And by the sounds of it, going through their criminal history to see if they were the right person. Um, but the bunny tattoo... Well, it wasn't a bunny, was it? They said it might be, but it was a... Cow or something. <laughs> fucking badger or something. <laughs> that was there. So I, I've given them the benefit of the doubt, and it's, it's marked <laughs> down. Well done, Emma. If that was the only one. You've justified that. was the that. only one. Fine. Okay, so that's their plan. <laughs> right, step two. Then, don't get two minutes. Step two. Let's tell every staff member in the whole <laughs> arena this plan. <laughs> Why would they do that? What purpose did that solve? Uh, I know, I know, I know. I don't know what the... Yeah, sorry. What was the reason? Then, all right, we're going to tell everyone you're all going to know. Yeah. We're going to keep this contained to just the just, hundreds just of Just the 250 members. people working yeah, okay. here. okay. Part three, you guys have good family values. Yeah. This whole sequence with the vendor yeah. is part three and part four here. <laughs> why, why did he think that we as an audience would accept that this vendor of the shirt stand would go through and tell him the whole plan of the police? Not stand? just the plan. He gave him his pass code. Gave like, <laughs> there is a code to say to the armed officers, if you are a member of the staff, actually, so that so that no one can impersonate them. They go, yeah. you have to say the word Hamilton. Yeah. So what does Jamie... This is the name of the guy, Jamie. Oh, what does he do? He tells people what his fucking tells him, code tells is. Tells him the code that he's done by the FBI. Yeah. Hamilton. And then he goes through the whole... The he, he 
explained the whole reason for yeah. the trap. Everything. Immediately. Everything. Someone just said, what's up with that? Let me tell you. If, if you wanted if you wanted a masterclass in exposition in a few sentences, if you wanted to just lay out the whole plot, just take that guy's script. Can I just quickly plug my yeah. what if? Go on. All right. It's called Trap, but Jamie doesn't fuck everything <laughs> up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't there, if he didn't tell him the whole plan... That was my issue with the, the what if this time was there were so many points where you could have just said, well, then it wouldn't have happened. But it, <laughs> change like, that. There you go. Doesn't happen. The, 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 sh- the sheer utter coincidence of everything that happens in this movie is absolutely beyond comprehension. It is bananas. Yeah. It is, it is the fastest written script by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> and we can, fu- we can see that. Yeah. It's, it, it really is like a, a, a tick. A toddler? No. Someone who is in the eight to ten year old range, a boy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. has found out how you make a movie. <laughs> yeah. You make a movie by someone has a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you, Timmy, can make that yeah. story. He's found out about conflict. Like, oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. It's gonna be we're gonna have a trap in an arena with the FBI and everyone's gonna be in on it, apart from the killer. The killer's the main character, and then <laughs> and then the killer's gotta get around the FBI, but there's an old British woman in the way who's the oh, FBI God. informant. So look, a lot was a lot was problematic, <laughs> all right. There are some minor things like the SWAT team having their pep talks in the staff room. Yeah. With no staff in there. And like, can I just point out for armed personnel, right, trained in this situation, their spatial awareness was fucking atrocious. All the time. None of them knew that there was a six foot four guy just stood there watching. Just a guy who just like... Oh, not it- in staff uniform. <laughs> yeah. just that was, that was that. another minor <laughs> yet annoying cry. Just <laughs> fucking watching them have just this breed. <laughs> Chuckling when, when they mention the people yeah. who've been murdered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ooh, yeah. Trying That's to right. get caught. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. This is a big <laughs> problem, right? So okay. one coming up now. Is two points. I, I've bundled, bundled them into one because it really does yeah. seem like, okay, we get, we are privy to the information that is going through from the key, the key FBI profiler. So mm-hmm. this old British lady who I've checked is actually British, but it sounds not. She sounds like yeah. someone doing a British accent. Just like all the dialogue are real people. But they don't sound like real people. Yeah, it feels like they're from a dream. Or, but the, but the somebody from... said in a review, and you don't play a lot of video games, but the way that they talk... I is thought the exact same exactly thing. Like I don't, like I, and I didn't games. write it down, but I forgot about that point I made. Like, and, exactly like when you find a character in a game who's going to give like, you the information... You need- You've got good family values. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so for the next part of this game... You turn left. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> turn left and say Hamilton. They <sighs> might let you through. It was like every single point was someone had taken an excerpt from a video game and yeah. just popped it in. Yeah. And then our character was just wandering around the arena. It was so, so strange. Okay, so we find out that the profiler knows that he's going to try and trip the alarm or he's going to cause a sure, scene. Sure, sure. And that's going to be bad because we know he's going to do that so we're prepared so if he does that we'll just stop everyone or we'll yeah. stop all the men yeah so so if a it fire make a goes difference off because they're going to do that anyway <laughs> but if there is actually a legitimate fire none of the yeah, men yeah, yeah. All are, are allowed to leave. <laughs> so those are the very specific anomaly events that they have to look out for yeah but what they can't look out for is a woman falling down the stairs or a deep fat fryer exploding and yeah. causing horrendous burn marks. Both of which would surely have been suspicious enough for them to just look on the CCTV yeah. and go, yeah. oh, it's probably that guy. Who's that gigantic <laughs> man who's just walked into it? A... Right, this is what I think you're right. This gigantic fucking guy has walked in behind this till, this <laughs> row of like Burger <laughs> yeah, King tails. Right, that. no, no, no. He's walked in, right, picked up bottles of fat, put them in a fryer and turned on a hundred and then walked and off. Then walked off and, and then stolen it, an apron. And then it blows up <laughs> and nobody fucking says anything. What was the, was, was the purpose of doing that? Just to steal the apron, by the way. Did you- <laughs> 
<laughs> probably could have just stolen the apron. <laughs> it would have been than, a lot easier. He just lead disfigure that woman. Like, how did he... You would have had to go and collect the bottles and then go to the fryer and then turn up and then leave without any of the, like, 200 people queuing up watching. And then he he does that so that he can get that, that apron. <laughs> and then he decides to go on the roof. And the cops, yes, they do find it a bit strange, yeah. but surely they'd find it more strange that a man who has clearly just put an apron over his going out clothes is now on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, right. amongst everything, that's that's one of the more forgivable ones. But, like, I felt yeah. like he really tried really hard on that one. Yeah, yeah. He put in <laughs> loads of effort in order to get that apron. He, hap- he happened to find a, a wallet with an Asian man's ID in it, which yeah. thankfully they didn't know. That was good, it was. wasn't it? That was good. Okay, I've got a good one here. Yeah. I've almost like on Cinema Sins where they ha- they reverse a sin for something good. The Leukemia Lie yeah. was great. But what was the setup for that? Remind me why he tells this lie, Fred. Okay. So it seems like you have more of a He needs edition. to go backstage. Yeah. Right. So what do I do? Okay, I'll go for a walk. Okay, fine. And then literally, immediately after starting the walk, strikes up a conversation with a with, random with, member of with, staff with, with, who just <laughs> happens to be the fucking singer's production uncle. manager and the singer's uncle who has yet to decide on the girl and just strikes up conversation yeah. with this guy. And just like says, the utter luck okay yeah that's that's fair enough <laughs> like yeah okay the leukemia story that was good it was kind of look he did a lot like when it when it suited him when luck didn't require it although luck often set it up he did some pretty cool stuff yeah like yeah. the the fat explosion thing was pretty wild like i was <laughs> like i was enjoying so it. unnecessary it was so it was, it was crazy I, yeah and and same goes for the leukemia thing but god damn like he just happens to start a conversation with the, with the guy who can make that decision. Like, really? Yeah, but it was an opportunity for M. Night Shyamalan to quite clearly say how talented his daughter was. Yeah. Like, M. Night Shyamalan is the person there who is also the, you know, manager slash uncle of yeah. Lady Raven. Lady Raven is actually M. Night Shyamalan's daughter in real life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so M. Night Shyamalan can, with a with a... Dry wink and a nod to the camera, go, she's actually really talented. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just clearly put that in there. I'm going to forgive <laughs> all of that, be- all of that, Nepo. He made himself, made himself because do what he you made want. himself. And, and you know what? He clearly adores his daughter, M. Night. Like, he clearly adores yeah, fair her. Fair enough. So, he fine. Adores. All right. Fine. So, so, does that. Gets backstage. They they throw a few bizarre red herrings like um, Kid, Kid Cudi's Goody, yeah. lactose intolerance, which makes no difference. Yeah. And also when he helps that girl who almost faints. Yeah. No point in that, but all well, right, whatever. The, the, the British woman was nearby <laughs> and she might suspect him <laughs> right, for okay. being a man. <laughs> <laughs> which, to be fair, would have been a good move. <laughs> so, so does that. And then... I mean, it's tough to pick a winner here. Maybe yeah. at the end we try and decide what was the most interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. decision. But I've got to say, this is a rival for top spot. His decision to tell Lady Raven that he was the butcher, yeah, rather than just take a chance with the last line of cops. He's shown himself to be very <laughs> adequate at lying to the police, just manipulating situations. Instead, you're going to reveal yourself to someone who you've literally heard talking <laughs> to the... Not <laughs> bizarrely... Lady Raven has obviously she's almost like second in command to this whole operation. Yeah, they yeah, told yeah. her everything. She can he can conveniently hear her talking to the profiler in a room over there. Surely he has more measures. I know M Knight obviously wanted to kick on the plot a bit at this point. Yeah. But that was mad. Like you are done then. You are done. Yeah. How do you come back from that? Yeah. Like, not only have does she has she seen your face? Yeah. Of the 3,000 men in, you're the only stupendously attractive six <laughs> of four man who everyone's seen knocking people over and chucking. Chucking, chucking boiling fire around and oil. Pushing drunk people <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> like the least subtle man in history. It's like, oh no. Well, stunning. <laughs> they must <Ask> be- <laughs> Kid Cuddy. <laughs> so not only that, but 
Say say they lost all the footage. Say everything. Yeah. They lost they lost all CCTV. They wasn't working. They didn't think anything else was suspicious about him. His daughter was on stage with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, who was that? <laughs> what, what, where does he go from there? What this what I want to ask you, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he uses that to get yeah. out with her. She knows his in face his head. Now. Yeah. In his head, what is best case scenario? Well, okay. The the real crux is that she knows his face now, right? Knows his face. Yeah. And even if it was just... There's no getting out of that. He know, She knows his face, but also she's like, they can find video footage of his daughter. Yeah. Who they could just ask anyone, whose daughter is this? And all of those kids who aren't a fan of her would be like, oh, that's brown, brown. <sighs> what is it? In my head, I wrote down, so best, best, best case was that he goes home. Mm-hmm. And immediately takes the wife and kids and, and goes on the run. Goes on the run. Yeah. And I guess convinces them that he's not the butcher, but he's just it's just some other reason. Even though there's like Even though his wife, <laughs> spoiler alert for later, is pretty confident he's the butcher. <laughs> and now there's a and fucking, we'll get to that. There's a you? famous person, right, <laughs> who knows exactly what he looks like. Yeah. But this is, I'm saying, best case, what he wanted to do, right, was he yeah. wanted them to drop him at his car, which Just, would have basically been drop him at his car and then don't say anything for a bit whilst we drive home and go. <laughs> and he didn't even ask us to drop him at the car. He just said, drop me near it. We're near Drop me here <laughs> whilst I walk for like five minutes. <laughs> There's no way they'll catch me. It's like about a trillion armed forces around. So, all right, whatever. That's a big one. Yeah, it's quite a bad one. Then we've got Raven. Okay. Raven deciding to go to the house. Mm -hmm. What possessed it? We, it would have been way safer. Yeah. To just let him go and then call the FBI. Yeah. And be like, like this exact is that guy. Vehicle. This, this is, is the, the exact person yeah. who it is. Yeah. It was the, the father of the person who got on stage. <sighs> what what it takes the FBI. They've got they've got CCTV footage of all of it. Yeah. They would have had the backstage. They could see the person who comes out. It takes them what, an hour? To, to at least an hour to see who it is. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, it's this guy. He lives here. Yeah. Then they're after him. Instead, Raven decides, <laughs> I'll go to the house without so that any, I know like, where the house is. <clears throat> yeah. To save Spencer. To meet the family and like, yeah. I mean, it's like you say, like she could literally just go through the CCTV of the day and be like, I know his face. You see that guy yeah. pushing a woman down the stairs? Yeah. This, that, that actually happens to be Let's him. not forget, the super profiler, old British McGee, yeah, yeah. is yeah. smart enough to know that this guy has mummy issues. Yeah. I don't think they're going to need her to point out his fucking letterbox. <sighs> it, yeah. She's done enough, right? She, she could definitely have just left them to it. What the fuck is she playing at? Like, it's purely, <laughs> purely because M. Night wanted his daughter to be heroic. In oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for in-universe reasons. There is, the the reasons why are very, very also, clear. Also, when you get there and you decide, I'm coming in, tell your driver to call the police, you turn yeah. it. <laughs> Don't wait about and say, wait until I call you to call, call the police right now. Yeah, that was, yeah. And what is Cooper doing at this point? Like, seriously, surely he should know the gig is up and now i got to get out of it. Why is he keeping up this pretense in front of the family? She knows where he lives. So, like, it's over unless he just leaves. He needs to just get out of there. Get out. Get she out. knows where he lives. She knows what he looks she like. Knows she knows his family. He's, he's waiting to try and kidnap slash murder this pop star. But he didn't plan to do that until nope. she came in, and nope. then and specifically, even, and and it was it wasn't even after she came in, right? It was after she she was like, "I'm going to steal your phone. I'm going to out wrestle <laughs> this gigantic fucking man." <laughs> I just want to stress to everyone: this huge lumbering ape of a man he is fucking massive. <laughs> he's a monument, and he's so sneaky. <laughs> he's a sneaky bear. <laughs> A what? sneaky, handsome Jesus. fucking bear. So handsome and sneaky. <laughs> Somehow Jesus. nobody notices this gorgeous giant man. 
<laughs> just <laughs> blowing <laughs> up <laughs> fat fry. Sneaky bag. Pushing <laughs> women downstairs. <laughs> sneaky. He's sneaky. No, it's that bloke. That fucking oh massive God, guy. This massive, gorgeous man. So, all right. An- another, I guess. It, uh, look, this is a. a we'll forgive a bit up to this issue. point. No, we won't. But <laughs> the next thing is is all right. I don't I don't mind it, even though some people would. That she saves Spencer by yep. by doing a live stream, and then they you know four chan detective it to yep. find her. You know what? Fine, fine. That's yeah, fine. All that's right, too bad. no yeah. issue with that. Then finally, the FBI arrives. Wait, wait. Actually, no. Let me pause. Go on, there. another one. Go because on. this yeah. is a firefighter who can't kick down a basic internal door. Oh. For about five straight minutes. Yeah. Like this, a firefighter. All right. Why, right. why of all c- the people who could knock down a door, <laughs> you would pick a firefighter. He's not just a sneaky It's bear. his job. He's a strong bear <laughs> as well. A stra- he's a six foot he's four gigantic bear firefighter. Strapping bear man. And he can't knock his own... Be- oh. Can't knock a door down. Like a, Not like in an external door. Not like a big thing. Like no. a... Basic bathroom, bathroom door, door yeah. that you could basically just fall on at his side. Unless and he it would open. sneakily fortified the house. Yeah. Which I feel like maybe they'd want to mention. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Although he did. I'll let you proceed because he did do something some coming up. Something up. <laughs> that, that segues magnificently <laughs> into my next point. So, FBI has arrived. Yeah. Finally, they've got the FBI here. Yeah. Very sneakily, sneakily the, the FBI all sneaky, <laughs> dun, 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 sneaky <laughs> to catch a bear. <laughs> sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, catchy big monkey. Well, so he uses up precious seconds to make himself a drink or some yeah, shit. Yeah. All right, fannying about, whatever. FBI has arrived, but you're telling me that. All right, one sec. He he arrived. He goes through a tunnel. I'm all actually all right with the tunnel. I'm fine with the sneaky tunnel that gets him out onto the neighbor's yard. Yeah, yeah. whatever. But then, correct me if I'm wrong here, <laughs> he manages to find SWAT gear. Was that SWAT gear there already? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, so he gets out, he goes out through the tunnel, mm-hmm. and then we don't see him. What happens? He convinces just... the driver of Lady Raven to call it. Oh, yep. You're done here, mate. Good yep. job. <laughs> Go home. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Without a vehicle. He's in SWAT uniform. This is this is why he has SWAT gear. I, does he? He snuck around the world. Where the hell did he, he get found sn- He probably sneaky bear attacked someone from behind <laughs> and stripped him. <laughs> Quickly got <laughs> changed. Another gigantic Ooh. SWAT oh, bear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's so like, wow, doesn't see that humongous SWAT bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, He's been perfectly. <laughs> so, so he then just drives off with them. They haven't even discerned that they have a hold of him they yeah. know he's in a house yeah no one's got proper eyes on him at this point no one notices him climbing out of the ground but no about one 20 feet to the no left no one minds that raven's just going now well no they did try and do that because the very british woman said send the non-personnel home but surely <laughs> surely okay so they, they've given a caveat as to why they did that surely they'd be locking down the area yeah, that's Until true. they knew for a fact they had him. Not just letting... Sending vehicles away. Not just letting randomers drive off with the eyewitness. <laughs> <laughs> that's not... Uh, look, with no I've protection. Learned, no learned, protection whatsoever for this witness. All my understanding of the police system through films and TV. Yeah. But surely you can't just let people who've seen the culprit, the perpetrator, yeah. drive off immediately. Whilst, like... In the moment while you are still and like if they turn around, oh, they'll be like, why is her driver there? On the <laughs> <laughs> He's just fucking stood there with his hands behind his back. Like, <laughs> having a smoke. With, naked. <laughs> yeah. Just in case he needed that uniform. Alright. So Randomers drive off with the eye. It doesn't end here. No, like, <laughs> it just keeps We've fucking got six happening. Six more points. <laughs> Alright. So then they're stopped. He, he kidnaps her. He, you know, who, who could have seen? It was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> picked yeah. her up. The gigantic man. <laughs> Can't fit in the car. <laughs> and they st- <laughs> so they get stopped by fans in the limo. <clears throat> and he, again, does the old Uno reverse card. 
puts the SWAT gear that was, on, a, on something. That was it. the worst. That was probably my favorite one. What? That was fucking brilliant. Finds a sneaky tunnel out of the car. When, when I was thinking like, oh my God, like, are they going to do another one? Like, I I joked to myself in my head. I was like, oh, it'd be so funny if they did another one. Eh? And then and then they shoot the guy in the yeah. driver's seat and then open it and someone and he's put a helmet where his head was yep. and and a SWAT vest where and then he's presumably got out the door <laughs> and naked and he's shot this gigantic <laughs> man has got out of the door naked <laughs> And fucking it's, walked off. He's a lumbering head, Adonis. Head and shoulders, nude above the <laughs> crowd. This, this nude man, everyone else's heads only come up to his waist. <laughs> this new giant. Somehow he's pulled off, like propping up the helmet. It's so well that nobody can tell that there's say, not a real person. By the there. way, this limo was literally like jammed with people with, all the way around yeah. it. They tried to justify it by saying, oh, he must have escaped when the crowds when were... The crowd dissipated. But that, I mean, like, they do we surrounded. even need to go into why that is ridiculous? That is absolutely... He's giant! <laughs> he's he's giant. so big! <laughs> and now he's naked! <laughs> no, it's like, and now he's no, getting no. out of the very car that the swat <laughs> surrounded! We are joking about the nakedness because if you remember... He had the Lady Raven paraphernalia. Yeah, okay. So he found that in the side because they they showed him looking. Right. Before, that would, that before would anyone st- comments and said, that's a ridiculous thing to point out. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't naked. Yeah. He had the, which he obviously might, you might wouldn't well notice if there was a gigantic man in a in a small <laughs> women's a small girl. Lady, <laughs> Lady Raven oh. dude, meant for his 10 year old daughter. All right. How so the hell does he get any of these clothes on? The amount of times he changed clothes. How does he do it so quickly? How does he do it so quickly? And how does he find clothes that fit him? He finds clothes. At a moment's notice, he finds clothes. He finds aprons. He gets into a gear. booth, spins around, <laughs> and comes out fucking dressed differently. Dressed beautifully. He's so <laughs> handsome. It fits really well on him. You forgive him because his eyes. Oh, my God. So, finally, then, we move on to the confrontation with the wife. Okay. And it turns out, she set him up. I really liked that. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, uh, I classic. liked that. I thought it was cool. You said you may know a bit about M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. He's known for these known for these twists. Yeah. twists. I didn't feel like it was a corny twist. I felt like it was sufficiently, you know, I feel like the movie was so ridiculous that that twist felt quite reasonable. I can't say I had an issue with her knowing, mm-hmm. but the way she went about it. Pretty funny. So she suspects he's the butcher <laughs> and her plan is to leave a ticket stub yep. for a concert at his secret hideout. Yep. Why not just tell the police? Yeah. How many variables? I mean, we've discussed all of the variables. Yep. How many do they have in play? Why not do something that is at least a bit more... Well, it gets worse because not only was there a better option, but I feel like we need to stress just how bad this option was because... She suspects that he is a vicious, violent, brutal murderer and happily sends her daughter into a into a trap with him where he's clearly going to be panicking. Yeah. Where he's clearly going to be making very, very difficult decisions. And She's asking for the kid to get her. And even with that as well, so that's her perspective. Why did the police take that seriously? Yeah. Why did they say there's a ticket stub for a concert? We're going to lock this shit down. Yeah. We're going to send 300,000 fucking people in danger. We're going to send all these people. We're going to send these armed guards. We're going to tell all of the staff. Yeah. But everyone else in there is at danger from this murdering lunatic. Yeah. Who is now under pressure. Clearly under pressure. Yeah. So he's going to be making some hard decisions he around could, children. He, <laughs> also, he could have just bought it for someone. Or like, it could have been a setup. Why would they think he's definitely going to be here? We're going to send out the whole nation SWAT team so that we can there go were around. So it. many people to presume that the FBI would decide to turn the whole concert into an organised quote unquote trap with thousands of civilians put at risk based on a ticket stub with no understanding of what a he looks like. Ticket stub. They don't know what he looks like. It doesn't have bare hair on it. It's just a it ticket stub. It doesn't, it doesn't have a giant footprint on it. <laughs> he might not even be there anyway. Based on based on the rigorous profiling that they've done, he's almost certainly not the target demographic. <laughs> <laughs> if he's getting it for someone, say a daughter, wouldn't he have got a ticket for a friend as well? 
Why would they think he's going to go? Who wants to go to a concert with their dad? Yeah. Yeah. Why did he go? Why didn't the mum go to the concert? At worst. You know what? I did wonder. Who even buys physical tickets anyway? <laughs> that probably narrows down your suspect list considerably. <laughs> Just look for a He's man. He's probably the f- one of five people to buy a physical <laughs> ticket. <laughs> If you see a guy you who check? looks like he's the kind of person who buys physical tickets, <laughs> you've got your guy. <laughs> if he looks like Lock him down. Now, who let, works with logs. Let me make one thing clear. If he happens to blow up a fat fryer, <laughs> that means nothing. <laughs> if he happens to push a woman down some stairs, don't worry about <laughs> no, it. But if he trips a fire alarm... <laughs> that's when we're going to make sure that all the men are trapped... <laughs> We're going to trap every man. We're ready at a moment's notice to trap every man in here. <laughs> and if there's a real fire, they'll all burn and we'll get the butcher. Yeah. I mean. So that the physical ticket, the plan, the FBI taking it that seriously yeah. and then not thinking of a smarter plan yeah. and also greatly, regi- genuinely, the physical ticket sh- surely re- greatly reduces the amount of people, way more than 3,000 men that are going to be there. Also, uh, how the fuck did she crush his pills without him noticing? Uh, so here is my thinking on go this, on, right? On, she was left... Uh, she, we were shown that she was left alone by the FBI. Mm. But to me, afterwards, it felt like an intentional ruse to, to get him out. Yeah, okay. So the, it felt like a plan. Although the likelihood of him going, yeah, okay, I'll eat the cake or the pie or whatever. It's like, yeah. I mean, you're risking your life on that fact. I think like, what if he just goes, nah, <laughs> and more, then kills you? More than anything as well, like, he literally goes in there and says, I am so rigorous. I am impeccable at yeah. making sure these two lives are separate. I'm going to go back to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that yeah. I've just made an elaborate escape from. And I'm and not murder my wife because I'm really angry. I'm pissed. And I'll tell you another thing, right? Fucking hell, here we go. Take my clothes have you, off. Have you ever... <laughs> I'm going to get changed again. <laughs> look how big I look. He did look great. He looked amazing. Sorry. Um, the, have you ever, ever bitten into a tablet before? Yeah. It's awful. It's so horrible. If I give you a pie with crushed up paracetamol <laughs> on it. Crushed up ketamine. <laughs> you, might, you might ask how, why the pie tastes a bit funky. Also, how did he survive? Or like, how did he not pass out? Like they just took it like oh, he, he's, he's a, cause cause he's he's a bear. Cause he weighs about <laughs> three hundred pounds. <laughs> he's a giant big bear man. He's, yeah, and he's naked. <laughs> but he's about to pass out. They tase him. The British woman's there, obviously, getting involved in the tase. With a very weird thing about how she's like pretending to be his mum. I just presumed he was do you reckon that was actually her? I I got the impression that that's what M Night was trying she, to tell us. She got because she got Lady Raven. Why did she tell Lady Raven? Let's just explain so for the audience, right? Yeah, so he has just taken the sleeping stuff that yeah. he uses to subdue his victims. Mm. It, it's all coming out of the woodwork now, and he stands up, clearly very drugged up, yeah, stumbling around, and he. What turns out was his mother, this very strange old woman figure that just kept mm. showing up that wasn't the very British yeah. one, was stood at the door. It becomes clear now that it was his mother. Mm-hmm. And she gives him some sort of lecture about accepting him or or whatever. Yeah. And as he walks over to her, it turns out that that was a very lucky hallucination. Yeah. And, and it was actually the FBI woman. It was the FBI woman that who's been there the whole time. Thank like, God he didn't know us. Because <laughs> <laughs> he just placed thumbs in a guy's eyes. Oh, yeah. and she did that as fuck. Well. <laughs> it took six tasers to take this man down. So let's presume that this was their plan, by the way. That their plan was... Yeah. We're going to get you to tranquilize him yeah. and then we're going to tase him from here. But not before I've had my, my super cool profiling moment where I pretend to be his mum. That's why we need you to tranquilize him because otherwise he'll realize I'm not his mum and then he'll gouge my eyes out. Because <laughs> what he does, by the way, in case it wasn't clear, is they set up this elaborate trap. They tase him. 
he just shrugs off the tasers like, like four like of them before. No, like it's no fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turns around and he grabs one of them by the skull and gouges their eyes. Which out. is just left as well. Like we and never see like, any. We got cons- him. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a fuck oh, afterwards. Yes. <laughs> no one guy. gives a fuck. The poor guy on the floor with his eyes gouged out. Oh my god! It's very, I think that really the thing that drove this plot from the first minute onwards was sheer bloody luck. Yeah. Basically, any any plan that anybody made would be successful. Yeah. <laughs> apart from apart from the FBI's first plan no. about which was just too fucking ridiculous. I wouldn't have been surprised if at the end it was just the old FBI crony going and that's why we had to plan it to make him think it was a full trap. <laughs> but actually <laughs> this needed, was my plan. My plan was to make along. John I can pretend to be his mother <laughs> because I don't like Agent Robson's eyes. <laughs> No. Right, that's pretty much it. I mean, he, he escapes, or you presume he escapes. I didn't watch. Well, he he undoes his handcuffs undoes his after handcuffs. the because because this man cannot be fucking contained. <laughs> he could literally have just pulled the handcuffs apart <laughs> with his bare hands. It with, was literally... with, his, with his bare hands. Bare, <laughs> however, the spelling. <laughs> I literally, it got to the point about four escapes before the end where I was like, it'd be funny if they did another escape. <laughs> and by the time that they were unlocking the handcuffs, I was like, this... Oh, come on. How is... Look, okay, here's what you're thinking. He knows he's made a profit, right? It cost 30 million. It made 46, I think, in the in the global box office. Already? Yeah, yeah. Wow, fair play. I'm so not fair play. I think it came out a little earlier in America. I think it's been out a little longer than it's Maybe. been out here. Um but he's made a profit. They, no matter what, he always seems to make a profit. A yeah, one hundred percent. Oh my god! If it's already imagine? made forty six, I think I'd watch it as well. I'd watch it one hundred percent. You know what? This I was just thinking. Then this would have been the difference between a six point zero, which I gave, and a six point five. Was if right at the end he goes, he gets the bike spoke, bends it, puts it in his handcuffs, can't do it, and goes shucks. <laughs> <laughs> the final fuck you <laughs> after all of this that's like the it was all a dream <laughs> <laughs> I mean to be honest though what is his plan right I know his plans always pay off but he's undone the handcuffs alright somehow right but when they open the door they're not just gonna have like one bloke with no, no like they're gonna be like waiting for him with guns on the out like what is his does he think he can just he's gonna punch? Bro- through he's gonna get changed. <laughs> he's just gonna, <laughs> he's gonna get he's changed. Gonna naked. <laughs> he's now he can more easily get naked. <laughs> he's gonna frighten them. <laughs> this huge lumbering body <laughs> and gigantic penis. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, man. Right, well, thank you so much for listening, everyone. Um, yeah, we got some more content that. coming out this week. On uh, we're doing Deadpool soon. We're doing. What else have we got? We're doing Alien. Alien, Alien we'll do that. Alien one. Romulus. And what was the other one we said we'd do? We're talking about Blade Runner. Blade Runner. We'll do Blade Runner. Oh, classic review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Thanks for that.